Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Your person could possibly be a Leo, but something's being exposed here. They're finding out something about you. Now you could either be having some kind of major accomplishment or victory or I feel like you're about to offer your cup to someone new. That's I feel like that's what this person is finding out about. Um, it's putting them in the Ten of Swords energy. Okay, they may even be feeling kind of angry um, about this. They're all stuck in their mind. This person is an emotional wreck. But this is fair. The universe says this is fair. Okay, I feel like... Um, Spirit is telling this person there's a door, a closed door here. This person can't come back into your life. And I feel like you're about to get someone new. Okay? You are about to get somebody new. Um, and once that happens, that's it for this person. This is fair because this person kept how they feel about you hidden. They could have played some games with you. They could have been juggling you with someone else. But I feel like you're about to get a new soulmate. They're finding out from someone. This Knight of Swords is telling them this. And it's hitting this person pretty hard. It's putting them in. This is the most pain and mental anguish you can have in the deck. Okay? This is like mental anguish and a whole lot of pain. Yeah, spirit's blocking this person from coming towards you. And this is fair. This person left you out here single. They left you out here single for probably a long time, and during that time, you worked on yourself. And now um, you've learned all your lessons. You're ready for the right kind of love. You're very abundant. You're very independent. You could uh, be running a successful business right now. Okay, you've gone through a transformation, so spirit knows that you're ready for love. This is somebody who's single but ready. Single but ready to love or be loved the right way. So spirit sending you in somebody um, who's, who knows how to love you the right way. And there's this masculine here. Now they, now they want to get back together. Okay, they don't want to let you go. Right? But I feel like this person wasted a whole lot of time here twiddling their thumbs. You know, um... Maybe they were waiting for you to, to come back around to them or chase after them. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about you. Look at this. This person's going through mental anguish, pain, and emotional breakdown. I feel like they're having an emotional breakdown over this news. This is, um, this is the kind of news that um, puts them at rock bottom. It hits them really hard, like a wrecking ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. And now, yeah, now this person stays up all night, stressed out, wondering who's touching you, who's kissing you, who's being intimate with you. This is driving this person completely insane, okay? That's all that they think about. They're having memories about you. They know how badly they want you. They're all up in their emotions, right? Doing, possibly doing a lot of crying, having nightmares, pacing the floors. This is somebody, um, you, they're giving me the scene from, um, oh, what is it called again? Indecent Proposal. Have you guys ever seen that movie with Demi Moore? In Indecent Proposal, she, um, <laughs> Some rich man, right? Robert Redford, hubba. Um, Robert Redford w once like one night with her, okay? So um, this, her boyfriend or whatever, husband, um, allows it to happen. And she takes off in this helicopter with Robert Redford, right? And her husband is flipping out. Uh, Woody Harrelson, that's who's in it. The scene that they're showing me is when um, he's totally panicked and she's about to leave in the helicopter and, and he's running through the hallways and he's in this elevator and he's climbing the walls and he's, he's in this elevator panicking, um, slamming his hands on the walls, right? Because he's, he's about to let his woman get away with someone else, okay? And um, 
he's like, what have I done? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? That's kind of the energy that this person is feeling, thinking about that um, you're about to get someone new or you, you could be getting touched and loved by someone new. Okay, someone else is going to be out here pleasing you, collective. Oh, boy, this person is in regret. That's that Woody Harrelson energy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, falling apart. Crying. Okay. Um, panicking. This person's really flipping panicked. They just keep showing me that scene. I don't know. The movie's called Indecent Proposal, and the scene they're showing me is when Woody Harrelson is in the elevator. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and you're about to leave with someone else. Someone else is, uh, uh, this is the news this person is getting. And it's almost as if they, they don't have a clear view of you. Like they don't, they can't find out any information. You could have this person blocked on social media, blocked on your phone. There's like no way for them to see um, what's going on, see any of the details. All they have to go by is this gossip from this Knight of Swords energy. I don't know who this person is, but somebody's found out. Yeah, you've got someone new, Collective. You're about to go out on a date, meet this new person. Now this new person coming in, um, they've been through a battle. Okay, it's probably the same kind of heartache and betrayal that you've been through. And now they're coming off of that battle, having learned their lessons, and having a victory in life. So this person has their act together. They've got their life together. I feel like they're a single person who knows that they want you. Okay? Um, and yeah, I feel like you are about to go on a date with someone. You are about to um, meet this new person. And this person from your past, they're on their they're on their knees. This news literally brings them to their knees, okay? Yeah, now they want to come in and apologize. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be possibly dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or maybe a Leo, okay? They want to come and apologize as quickly as they can before this, before you start dating this other person. Yeah, you got other options, Collective. Yes, you do. You could have more than one person who wants to date you right now. You're ready to date other people. You're putting yourself out there, and you're looking beautiful. I feel like that's what this, I feel like this is a friend of this person who maybe has seen you. Um, they're saying that you're beautiful. They're saying that you, um, you may have a lot of money. You look like you're a big success now. Okay, they could have even seen you talking to someone else. You could have some kind of public platform as well. Or this new person coming in could have some kind of public platform. Um... I feel like whoever's in your inner circle, whoever you still have in your inner circle, is very respectful of you. And I feel like this new person, they're getting a lot of respect and admiration as well. Yeah, you're moving on. You've got, you, your money looks good. And whoever you're moving on with, this new person, it could very well lead to a commitment. This person from your past, man... It's panic. It's a lot of crying. It's a lot of, I feel like they're praying, please, please don't let, please don't let the collective get away because that's what you're doing here. You're moving on. You're leaving this person behind and you're headed straight towards your ten of pentacles. See, you're, you're almost there anyway. You're single here with nine pentacles. The only thing you don't have here in this picture is a soulmate at your side. You're, you're building something solid for yourself, a huge success on your own, okay? And this is a single person. But when you meet this new person and they make you this love offer, it's a legit offer. This new person is someone who wants to take their time with you, Collective. Ooh, They want to take their time. They want to get to know you. They want to date you. They want to court you. And they want to do it right. 
This is somebody who's going to open the door for you. This is going to be someone who won't won't let go of your arm while you're walking. This is someone who's going to hold your hand in the car. This is someone who's, um, they're, they're going to be a gentleman. They're going to be admirable, okay? Um, and once this person gives you that offer, it's going to create the Ten of Pentacles, okay? And that's where you are here with the Ten of Pentacles. So this person from your past, they know um, that you're headed straight towards a commitment with someone else. And once that happens, you're gone out of their life for good, forever, and they're not going to get another chance. This is somebody who's betrayed you um, really bad, maybe even a couple of times. They could have betrayed you twice. I feel like you may still be trying to get over this person, but when you meet this new one, see, you know, time doesn't really heal that much, right? What heals really is all the things that you put into your life during that time. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? Like the new things that come into your life, they kind of fill that gap. And I feel like that's what you're doing. Um, time really necessarily, not necessarily has healed you. But the new things that you've been focused on, right? You put your focus in a business or your abundance or your transformation, that helped you heal. It was everything that you put into your life that helped you heal. And now there's one thing left to go. You've already learned all your lessons. You've already um, filled your life, right? And, um, and healed and worked on yourself. Now, the, the only thing left is love. And that's when this person comes in. And when this person fills your life, the memory and the pain of this person from your past is going to kind of start to disappear, okay? So I feel like you're almost through your healing because you've been filling your life with beautiful things. You've been putting your focus into the right things. You've watched your growth. You've watched your effort. Every I feel like you've challenged yourself. And that kind of focus is what is what helped you to heal. Okay? And this new person coming in. I feel like they're going to make you forget all about the pain in the past. This is somebody who's going to treat you the right way. So, yeah, you, um, this person from your past, they know they move towards you way too slow. Um, they are finding out that you're meeting new people. Yeah, way too slow. Knight of Pentacles energy. Okay? Now they're feeling guarded. They're feeling afraid. They're intimidated, maybe. You know, because they screwed up so bad with you, they waited too long to come back in, and it made it really difficult now for this person to give you a decent apology that you're going to believe. Yeah, they're burdened by this. This person, maybe they feel kind of stuck. I feel like they're getting ready to communicate with you. Okay, I feel like they need to drop one more wand here, and then you're going to have the Ace of Wands. Okay, or I'm sorry, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, they need to drop one more wand here, and you, then you're going to be at them taking action. I don't know why I said the Ace. I feel like that's what they're still concerned about, right, is you having this passionate new beginning. Yeah, two wands, I'm telling you. They're making a decision. They're choosing a path. This person's getting ready to come and communicate. Still very upset, very jealous, very worried um, about you and this new love. And they may not know who it is. Yeah, they want to heal this with you, collective. Three of swords in reverse. So that's what they did to you. Whatever they did to you that wronged you, they want to heal it with you now. Quickly. Oh, believe me. They want to do this very quickly because if they don't, you're gone. Someone else is coming in to love you the right way, to do what they couldn't do, to do what they wouldn't do, okay? This person's being replaced. They can feel it. They know it. Yeah, you're about to, ooh, 
Woohoo! You're about to get a King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is somebody who is going to plan on doing right by you. This is someone who's going to be loyal and dedicated. Okay, and I feel like this is a time of celebration. This could be your date. This could be going out, getting together. Okay, this is your date. They're hearing that you're going out on a date. They're hearing that you're looking good. You're, you're independent, making good money, and they're about to lose you. And that's that crashing moment for them. Okay, it sends them over the edge. They are so jealous. They do not want to let you go. This person could be still holding on to some kind of addiction as well. So they could um, be a heavy drinker. They could be doing some kind of substance. They could be doing some numbing right now just to cope with this news because it is really driving them crazy. They don't want to let you go. Okay. Um, very, very jealous. Yeah, you've got a king of pentacles. This this new person could be very wealthy or they could have a successful business. They could have a really good job. They could be in the public eye. Okay, very well liked in their community. This person is grounded, stable, very down to earth. This new person, they could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. Oh, your person from your past, they feel so stuck. They are so burdened. I feel like, too, though, this information that they're finding out from this Knight of Swords, I feel like this is a friend, maybe, telling them this stuff. Um, I feel like it's made this person see everything from a new perspective. It's, it's made them want to rush in, but I feel like they're, they're going to lose you, I feel, before this person comes in. Because you're, yep, you're moving on, collective. Oh, you're, this person just lost you. Seriously, I'm literally watching this person just lose you to a king of pentacles. They, they're not going to be able to compete with this king of pentacles. Okay, they're just not. Especially this person is coming in in page energy. Okay. Once you start getting to know this king of pentacles... This person is not going to be able to get in the middle of this new connection. Yeah, tower moment. They know. Yeah. Tower moment. They may even see you on a date. Or um, you could be posting some pictures of you and this other person on a date. Okay? Because this is like having things going public maybe. This is also you closing out a cycle, moving on. I feel like this person sees something. They may see you out with this new person. And it gives them a tower. Okay? They're going to be an absolute emotional basket case over this. They are. Yeah, this is a date. They see you on a date with somebody else. That's what this is. They see you out on a date with someone and you are looking good and you're looking beautiful. And I'm seeing, I just heard dancing, somebody dancing. So maybe you're going out dancing with someone else and they see it. Oh boy, that's too close, collective. <laughs> no touching. Yeah, that's kind of the feeling. <laughs> they don't want you touched with anyone by anyone else. They don't want you sleeping with anyone else. They don't want you dating anyone else. But like I said, the universe says this is fair. Because this person, I feel like they pushed you away. I feel like this person um, sabotaged you, broke your heart. Okay, put you in third parties. Maybe they've cheated on you, lied to you, definitely betrayed you, left you behind, okay, for a long period of time, enough for you to reach the Empress energy, okay? So this could have been years in separation. You haven't heard anything from this person after the betrayal. So Spirit is like, this is fair. 
this is fair the wheel of fortune it's the universe can't stay on hold for this person forever neither can you okay so the universe now is saying this wheel of fortune has to turn now it's got to turn i'm sorry but it's over um this is the i feel like they're getting what they deserve here okay spirits out here saying this is what's going down this is you're getting this uh, what you deserve this is your karma this is fair the collective deserves love is ready for love and is going to be loved you missed out that's what the divine is telling this person and they know it it's a, a huge tower moment for them i feel like this person knows they're stuck now carrying these burdens of what they did to you and everything that they lost okay because of it and how all of their decisions backfired on them they've got to carry all of this through their life they've got to carry these burdens now for the rest of their life knowing that they lost the best thing they're ever gonna have okay to someone else because of their games yep and because they just you know I feel like this person just refused to give you an apology they just refuse to um, confront this with you, okay? They refuse to do the right thing. They wanted to hold out until, uh, basically until they lost you. That's what happened. You know, if this person would have done the right thing by you years ago, or how about not hurt you at all, you could you know i feel like you could have built something solid or they could have been at your side building this with you but no they screwed up bad and they lost a beautiful future here because this person would not come in and apologize when they were supposed to you know so yeah i feel like somebody may see you on a date or see you talking to someone else okay and it is a crashing tower moment for this person. If you see this person at the same place you're going to be, um, you're going to notice they're going to get up and leave very quickly. There's, they're not going to try to get in the middle of anything. They're going to get up and leave very quietly, very quickly. And I feel like then they're going to go cry in their car. And spirit is going to say, this is fair, bro. It's fair. You know, dude, if you would have done the right thing, you know, maybe you wouldn't have lost this beautiful person. You know, that's what spirit is telling them about you, right? Is it true? I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. I cannot make it up. That is a, that's a total confirmation. Thank you, divine. No one compares, no matter how many people I've met and experiences I have. Um, there's no one who compares to you. Sorry, something fell on the floor. Spoiling you. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips. Everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less. And I feel like, you know what? This isn't coming from this past person. This is from this King of Pentacles. This is what this new person is going to do. They're going to treat you right. They're going to respect you, consider you. They're going to spoil you. Okay. Yeah. Is it true, though? This I'm telling you, this person is either hearing about you dating or seeing you out on a date, and they feel absolutely lost. Absolutely lost and very very sorry i hate how much i've hurt you i'm so sorry for all the pain i've caused you didn't deserve any of it yeah mm -hmm. yeah but it's fair though spirit says it's fair you missed your chance you mistreated the collective you put them through a lot of pain and heartache for no reason you never came in to make it right you were stubborn you were too slow you didn't want to confront. You didn't want to take accountability. You didn't want to say you were sorry. So now you're losing the collective because you don't deserve them. 
You're mysterious. I can never figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. Yeah, they're afraid you're hiding um, a new connection. Sorry, I don't think you're hiding anything from anybody. I think this person pushed you out of their life. You moved on with yours. And now you know what? You're, you're starting a whole new phase in your life. And you don't think anybody from your past really needs to know about your business. Okay? Um, this person from your past, they can't, they really can't accept the fact that it's over. Okay? They can't. But they're the ones who did this. That's why this is fair. They're the ones who did this. Okay? And, um, yeah, they need to take accountability for all of that. Now they're going to have to carry the burdens of that on their own. And you're going to move on to the Ten of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. In a time of celebration, you're moving on, collective. You're moving on. You're dating again. And they can't handle it. Whew. Anyway, congratulations, though, collective. Congratulations, because you do deserve this. You know, you deserve this abundance, you deserve this success, and you deserve to be loved the right way by somebody who knows how. Okay, so yeah, congratulations. And this person, I'm sorry, but they lost you because, um, because of what they did. All right?